All right, so we're going to be looking at a new product today. Uh, these are the Rubox R-I-W-B-O-X wireless headphones. And these headphones are meant to be more on the affordability side of, uh, you know, just wireless entertainment. Uh, they have some pretty cool features and specifications attached to them. And I want to kind of go over that, talk about the quality of these, talk about what's included, and all that other fancy stuff. So let's dive right in and just open this up. All right. First thing we get, nice packaging that displays the headphones, looking great. Uh, I'm just gonna toss that stuff out of the scene though. All right, we pull this out, we get a nice little plastic holder for the headphones, and we also get a few inserts. All right, so uh, first thing we have is the instruction manual. So what I'll do is I will just kind of pan it slowly across in case you need to pause the video to read any of it. Uh, you know, it's your standard run-of-the-mill headphones. There's a few cool features on this. There's a few cool uh, things that it can do and a couple utilities that not every set of headphones would have. All right, nice little warranty card that also talks about, uh, you know, what you're promised, how to contact them, everything like that. And also we get two cables included. All right, what we get is an audio jack cable and a USB-C charging cable. Uh, that is a huge, huge thing on here. All right, there we go. Okay, finally got the focus. All right. Um, because, you know, it's nice to have the ability to charge everything off of one single cable. I know standards are slowly shifting towards that and people are getting more and more demanding as a consumer. And the fact that these have already jumped into having a USB-C uh, connection just says a lot because I bring one cable, one charger, and one battery with me everywhere that I go. Now, I can even use my phone as a battery to charge my headphones. So if I'm at like 92% battery and my headphones are dead on me, I can plug it in and it will be able to not only charge it, but you know, keep it going in case I need a lot of use. Uh, but also my charger can charge it and my battery can charge it. So that universality is super, super valuable. And also, you know, devices these days, laptops, Chromebooks, anything else like that, they already have USB-C cables. So why not jump into that standard? So bonus points for jumping in on that. Um, the USB cable is, you know, nothing special. You're not going to get a super thick, powerful USB cable that can, you know, carry those insane amounts of charge. But these are batteries and headphones. They're smaller and, you know, they last forever because all your device is doing is just playing back music and connecting through Bluetooth. All right. The audio jack cable, if your phone still has an audio jack. Mine does. I am super happy to have it because sometimes you just want a wired cable. I'm actually giving my review through my audio jack microphone. Uh, super valuable to have. All right. But anyway, back to this. Uh, the audio jack is a nice nylon braided material. Uh, it's pretty tough. It seems like it's going to hold up pretty well. It's flexible. Um, it's not anything that's like too tough or like inflexible. It'll bend. I wouldn't recommend bending and pinching it, but that's the same rules with every cable. All right. We have an L-shaped bracket on one side and we have a straight pass-through cable on the other. Um, this also has a microphone with a little push to pause or talk option, depending on what option you're doing on there. Uh, the audio came out pretty good from this, from you know what I had tested. I had kind of plugged it in and played around with it, walking around the house narrating things. Uh, girlfriend looked at me like I was kind of weird until she knew what I was doing. Uh, but yeah, nice cable. It's a great length. Um, if I had to guess, I'd say it's about four feet long, so that's good. All right, that's about the length that you need without it being too obnoxiously long. And then finally, what we care about is the headphones. These look great, all right? They have the R and the L printed on the inside, so when you're picking it up or you're looking at it, you know which side it needs to go on because there's a couple utility things that determine which side you put your headphones on. Um, first utility, you know, obviously the controls. Uh, we have power, volume up, volume down, and M. Uh, it's usually like media or menu, usually some sort of special option. The instruction manuals kind of show you what you can and can't do with it. Uh, but for the most part, they're nice. They're easy to find when you're wearing them too because you can just put your hand on your headphone and then trace down power. You can feel that the volume buttons are attached so you don't have to worry about that. And then you know that M is on the bottom. Um, yeah, and on the other feature, you can actually use, there's a little touch-based item right here which senses if you touch with your fingers. All right, And that's for pausing or playing your music uh, or whatever other you know functionality you're doing. You know, with these headphones, you want to make sure that you are, you know, able to pause them like really quickly and easily. And these headphones offer that convenience. Uh, other things to note, uh, these circular kind of like machined kind of 
uh, plastic you know feeling on here it feels nice it feels quality uh, when I'm feeling the headphones they also feel like they're a good smooth plastic it doesn't feel like a cheap plastic it's got kind of like a softness to it that is really really nice um, yeah it folds in nice I love headphones that fold in because they compact so nice and like densely all right you know the headphones obviously open up if you have a larger head or you can shrink them down if you have a smaller head obviously you're going to click it out to your preference these do not pop out easily, which is actually a good thing because, you know, right, once you find your certain amount that you want your headphones, you don't want to accidentally extending on one side and looking weird. So uh, it's the perfect amount of like resistance and holding on to it. And it feels like it's going to hold for a while. All right. Uh, like I said, the folding is nice. Another thing I thought was really nice was the flexibility in the earpieces. So you'll notice that I can actually move or rotate these headphone uh, earpieces just a little bit and they allow you to just find that perfect amount of flexibility for what you need. All right? Uh, on the bottom part of it, we have the USB-C charging port, and we also have where that headphone port goes. Uh, nice piece of engineering on here, both sides fit in, so that'll plug in just perfect, or you can pop this out and plug this side in. I believe, because if we're looking at each of these pins, one of them has more surfaces than the other, uh, which has to do with the microphone. So my assumption with it, I kept plugging it in with this side and it worked just fine. Um, but if you were to plug it on the other side, you might not have the functionality because you're not activating that microphone uh, connection. So, uh, but honestly, these are the superior ones because they go off to the side and then this goes down flat into your phone. Uh, it's nice because you can tuck them behind you if you want them behind your back or you can tuck that in front of you and this kind of allows you to manipulate that. So that's pretty cool as well. All right, pardon that little hiccup. Um, camera hit its filming length and it overheated, but we're good. Uh, so <clears throat> the last kind of three things that I wanted to talk about uh, was the quality of the speakers. Uh, one of the really interesting things I noticed about these was the treble sounds extremely high definition. I don't know what it is, but the stuff that I was listening to sounded fantastic. Um, it's not to discredit the bass either. The bass is pretty darn good. Um, you know, these are great, they're good quality, and you know, the audio quality is fantastic. You know, a lot of us like to stream our music or things like that, so you're not necessarily looking for headphones that provide the absolute most stunning level of quality either. You know, if they play good music, you're set. Uh, which kind of helps me transition to the next piece, which is the price. I got these for 30 bucks. I needed a new daily driver set of headphones, took a chance with these, and I liked them. Uh, they had some pretty good reviews, and people were saying nice things about it, so I grabbed a copy, and yeah, they're good, they're quality. Again, you're not looking for, you know, the three, $400 set of headphones. These are $30. If you're anything like me, I lose my headphones, or I break them, or you know, I do something silly or dumb with them, like I pack them in a hiking book bag and then sit on my book bag not realizing that I put my headphones in there. Um, so these are nice to just have as something to bring around. They're great for travel. Uh, they fit well around my ears, so like background noise won't distract me, and they just work great. And the last thing I wanted to talk about uh, was this little slot right here you might have noticed. This is for a micro SD card. So. I go running around my house sometimes, and I run, you know, to the park and all around and everything like that, but one of the big things is I almost have dropped my phone a couple times already. So if you're the kind of person who doesn't want to bring anything with them or, you know, you don't want to lose your phone, have it stolen, drop it, drop it in water, drop it on the road, whatever it is, you can put music on this, uh, not through like a Spotify subscription, you need to actually have like have the music, but you can put it on a micro SD card or podcasts or, you know, audiobooks or anything else, and you can just plug them in and play it from there. It's a fantastic feature uh, that I don't really think adds too much to the cost of these devices. You know, you buy an audiobook, you can go running, you don't have to worry about your phone, you don't have to worry about your phone dying, having issues, uh, data charges, I don't know, whatever it is that you're worried about, you can just go running with the headphones. And if you lose them, or they break, or whatever, you haven't broken anything of extreme value. So it's just a nice thing to have that you can kind of like just, you know, plug in your own music and go running. All right, so general conclusions, these are nice headphones. They're even nicer when you factor in the price. You're paying $30 for a good quality pair of headphones that you're probably not going to regret for that price range and you're gonna get the headphone port and you're gonna get a micro USB, uh, not micro USB, uh, USB-C, sorry, that's the, the benefit of these. 
you're gonna get an up-to-date modern charging system. So you only bring one phone charger and you're all set to go for all of your needs. If you're like me, you like convenience. And this is a convenient and quality pair of headphones where you can't go wrong for the $30 they're asking for it. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll throw a link in the description. Uh, I do make an affiliate commission off that if you end up buying it, so just keep that in mind. And if you have any other questions, toss them in the comments section. I'll do my best to answer. Uh, but thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, please be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day.